Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to Market Psychology 101 where we look for value in the markets when there's fear and are cautious when there's greed. Today, I wanted to take a look at some coins available on Coinbase, not the top ones by market cap like I typically do about every other week of video on on this channel, but I wanted to take a look at altcoins that I like and ones that I've heard a lot of buzz about going into this next news cycle. So those coins that I'll be talking about will be Link, IMX, ICP, Fetch.ai, also known as FET, ACH, DNT, Jasme, HBAR, Bonk, OP, Optimism, and SEI. We're going to try to go through these quickly. We're going to take a look at the chart. Let me know in the comments below, are there any of these coins that I'm talking about today, ones that you like as well? It's up to you to do your own research, see if you also agree that there is some promise with these cryptos and or or type below whether or not you do or don't like any of these coins so let's get into it real quick fear and greed we're up in the greed so obviously be cautious we were recently in extreme fear and so we'll see if there's any recent value this downtrend does concern me a little bit however we also had a downtrend here in 21 and the top the blow off top in alt season actually came on this downtrend. So take from that what you will, not that that has to happen again going over into alt season. To me, this is bullish and shows me there's still great value in the market. We haven't had one of these alt season spikes. Now, there are way more altcoins available this time around. So I'm not sure if this chart is diluted by that factor or not. Something to keep in mind. If you know, type that below. But because we haven't had a spike, maybe that's promising. Rainbow chart, I'll do a video on that tomorrow. We're still in the upper end of the still cheap zone, got down near the accumulate zone. We'll talk about what that means in tomorrow's video. And of course, Bitcoin, still in this channel, and it's had 10 green days in a row, right near its 2021 all-time high. That's this gray line. If it breaks above this channel, we're going to talk about what that means. And if you hear that in the background, that is that is my cat's automatic feeder and, and my fun message for him. So anyways, let's start off with Link. Link, it, full disclosure, this is my favorite, safest play altcoin, not financial advice. Nothing here is. There's no guarantee this will do well. I've talked about at nauseum how coins that were great in 2017, many of them never got past the 786 in 2021. Now this one did. I think it has one of the strongest looking projects as far as utility goes. Sorry if that makes any of you cringe. It, I know it's it's been so many years and we're still waiting for utility and real life use case to take place with these altcoins. But this project does look like the most promising as far as one of the top altcoins are concerned. Solana as well. I'm not going to talk about that one today. I still have some reservations on Solana. I won't get into that. But anyways, yeah, Link, I think it still is a strong looking chart. If it only gets to the 786 at 31, you know, maybe look for some uh, take profit there just in case. You can take a look at XRP, Bitcoin Cash. Um, I know there's some others I'm forgetting that only got to the 786 in the last cycle. So do keep that in mind. Take maybe a little bit of profits here and then play with house money. Uh, but as far as Link goes, uh, you know, bearish case, if Bitcoin were to have one more flush and things get volatile into the election, as is typically the case, um, you know, October tends to be a volatile time too, it, then it's possible this head and shoulders formation plays out and we get somewhere down here. Let's take a look at the, well, that is the weekly, never mind. Um, but that maybe we would get that down somewhere around the, I don't know, nine and a half dollar mark at worst. At worst, you know, we have the two, three, six here in the high eights. Uh, but I think Link is a deal right now as far as everything goes. Had a nice bounce, uh, candle body wise off the 100 week, even wicked down to the 200. So if any of you caught Link at 11, congratulations. Had a 50% a move down. This is important to watch. Anytime we have a big movement up, if it comes down 50% and then uh, has a nice bounce, that's a good thing. Now it is in this downward channel, so it has, to, it has to show that it's going to break above and through that. We're just gonna, we're gonna watch this here. Um, 
but I'm hoping it does. And if it gets above this 0.5 at 16, that's going to be very strong for a link. So liking the chart on link here, possible really good value. Uh, but if it does go back down, let's go back to that. If it does go back down, then you can probably eye some better prices at around 11 to 12 in the short to medium term. IMX, same thing. Now, this is a different uh, coin overall, gaming coin, a lot of promise that, with this one. And yeah, we'll see how, how far up this one can go. It has a market cap of, let's go to Link's market cap. Uh, Link has a market cap of eight and a half billion. IMX has a market cap of, I know it's not too far down here. Here we go, of two and a half billion. So any of you guys on this channel newer to crypto, please, please, please make sure you educate yourself on market cap. So many, I'm going to keep talking about this. So many YouTube videos or channels, I should say, guys make predictions and they just throw some magical, insane number out there and have zero respect for market cap. So if I don't know if anyone's saying link to a thousand or IMX to a thousand, I see people saying XRP to 10K, which is totally stupid. But as far as these altcoins go, any of them that are around one to 10 billion at best, you know, you're looking for something between 50 to 100 billion for for most of those. There's going to be a few that get above that, sure. Uh, but if you're getting above the 50 to 100 billion, that, that's you're getting pretty lucky there. And just for reference, that's how high Doge got in 2021. Doge got to around, I want to say 90 to 100 billion. So that would be a, a 5x for Doge right now. If it got above that, let's say 200 billion or 150 billion, it would be doing more than it did in 21. So, you know, be careful with those predictions. Um, and anyways, make sure that if you're looking for a certain multiple, see where that market cap goes. And if you're getting closer to that 100 billion, do you know that that's a super optimistic point of view that likely the, the chances aren't great um but even you know something like a 50 billion market cap is achievable more so for some of these anyways uh not going to talk about market cap again but yes we're in this downward trend and hopefully this breaks above now it had a nice bounce off the 0.5 and it had a little bit more than a 50 uh, percent retrace uh, actually, let's measure that out, how far it got down. Um, well, we can see it right here. So, yeah, from that initial move down here, it had a 618 retrace, or it retraced 61.8%. Uh, I'm flipping it here because I went from the top to the bottom. I could do the bottom and top, show the same thing. Um, but it had a bounce, so that's good. I, I'm hoping it doesn't come back down underneath. That would obviously be very very bad <laughs> so you know a lot of youtubers i try not to fall in this trap sometimes i do i'll admit it um crypto because of the rainbow chart and the cyclical patterns it's very easy to be sucked into this game of making predictions and where we want things to go i do my best to try to just take things for where they're at uh right now in this moment and and see, you know, is this good or bad, or or what is good and bad about it, and let you make your own educated decision based off that. So that's how I try to present the information here, and I'll always do my best to uh, to make sure I keep doing that. ICP, uh, Internet Computer, that's my next one on the list. It got up to twenty, uh, and yeah, another one here. You can see quite a big uh, retracement probably another 618 yep another 618 retracement uh but having a nice bounce as long as it uh keeps going up gets above that 50 week moving average i'd say things are overall good you know for any of these if they have a 50 percent or a, or that 62 percent uh, retracement that's a good thing also these green dots if you guys don't know that is a buy signal now the two well, I'm using three indicators right now. Of course, I have the macro fib. That's this tool right here. If you're looking to do this on TradingView yourself, I'll try to share some uh, pointers. So this is somewhat of a tutorial as well. Uh, but you just draw from the prior high to the low. I know ICP shows up here. Again, if you calculate market cap, um, I don't know, it's a glitch in the system or something. It's just 
not not real <laughs> up there. So I tried to draw it from the least correlated to where it showed on Coinbase. That's why I drew up there. So you draw from the high to the low, and then you get these fibs. The two other indicators I'm using are the EMA 50, 100, 200. Those offer a lot of real-time data as far as you know where we are, whether we're bearish, bullish, um, and then the 10, 20 MA crossover with Heikinashi signals. I also have Heikinashi candles on as well uh, because they kind of cut out the noise and show better trends. Uh, real quick, if I were to just show you regular candles, you can see here a lot more noisy but if we want to just kind of take a look at the general trend, you know, Heiken Ashi plus that buy sell signal plus this 50 week moving average plus this FIB shows us this may be a good bounce here for ICP and some possible deeper value. So like where it is right now, hopefully it breaks out of this downtrend, hopefully it gets above the 100 moving average here on the weekly. Let's go to fetch, fetch.ai. Um, they merge with someone. I, I'm trying to remember who. Sorry, the name escapes me right now. Uh, but they are now known as Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance. This coin, man, I, I was lucky enough to get someone who was around six to eight cents. Uh, had to sell a little bit early, you know, take care of uh, some vet bills, uh, but still have some. And boy, I, I wish I would have put in way more. Um, but I think this one still has room to run. Again, it's at $3.5 billion. It's, it's one of the leading AI coins. Now, how much of that is real use utility or not? In the world of crypto, it almost doesn't quite matter, at least for this next cycle, wherever the top is, whether it's coming or hasn't come or already came. You know, whatever your belief is, uh, this is known as one of the very top AI coins. So with that, there's going to be a lot of buzz, just like with NVIDIA and um, what's the other chip manufacturer? AMD, I believe. So it, this is an AI play. And if you can believe it can get the 35 billion, you know, 10x or even 70 billion. I'm not talking about staying there, uh, but getting there, I would not be surprised if Fetch were able to do that. So, you know, you're, you're playing more off the narrative. Um, but one thing I will say, kind of like with Link or Solana, look at this chart. Now, other ones you've seen that the charts were way down here at the 236 uh, for the macro high to low FIB, but not Fetch, not Link, not Solana. When these charts are up here, even though on one hand it is more overvalued uh, or overbought, I should say, on the other hand, you know, bullish way of looking at it it's got the volume. It has people putting money into it, people, more people believing in it. So stronger looking chart, uh, a lot of belief. And should we get, should we get another alt cycle? We're kind of going off that base case, you know, that we'll get another alt season like we did in 20, late 2017, uh, early 2021. We're, we're going off that assumption. And if that were to happen, I think Fetch can explode and is a very promising coin next let's take a look at ach and alchemy pay we have to anytime you see this you got to make sure that you're looking at your fibs based on log now you take your fib off of log scale if you want to take a look at some price targets or extensions so wherever these are right now whatever that number is ignore it um, but if you put your fib off log scale then you can take a look at some of those numbers as possible price targets. So, you know, here the 1618 at 15 cents, 2618 at 24 cents. Those are good take profit areas, just so you know. Anyways, we're going to take a look at where it is right now at this moment. Right here, you can see higher lows. That's good. Um, it's battling that 786. That is concerning. Hopefully it can get up and through there, but I do like how it, it looks like a convergence is coming of that 786. Again, no guarantees it can get above. Uh, but these higher lows as well and so it's forming this giant flag pattern here well <laughs> this is why i i always got bad grades in art class growing up so uh <laughs> for this giant flag pattern uh, but right now you can see there is this trend line and going from these uh this higher lows each time so hopefully it keeps going has a buy signal has to fight this uh 0.5 fib but things are looking pretty good. So hopefully 
breaks out of this minor downtrend right here and continues to go up. But again, guys, I think a lot of these altcoins are possibly showing some juicy values. So, you know, do your research. Write down a list of uh, three pros, three cons, and maybe even wait a day. And if you're still feeling strong about it, then, you know, wherever you put your hard-earned money, I, I don't want to steer any of you guys wrong. Um, and there's no guarantees in this, so I'm, I'm never telling you to buy none of this financial advice. People say that way too much on YouTube, but, you know, just try and cover my butt. Uh, but if you are putting in your hard-earned money, you know, this is your choice, your decision. Do your own research and, and try not to make an emotional choice about it. Try to look at the facts, good and bad, and then choose. So ACH, I like what this chart looks like. Now this one, I was going back and forth on whether or not to put this one here. Um, this project, <laughs> from all I research, looks dead. And, however, it, in 2021, it, it still got back to the prior all-time highs. Not the 786, but the prior all-time highs from 2017. You can see here, macro-wise, it has this higher base, and there's still interest in there. So I don't know which whales are putting their money in here to be safe or not. I even hesitate to put this video out here because maybe they're going to see this. It Probably not. I mean, I'm a very, <laughs> I have 600 subs, let's be real. But just in case, you know, someone search, searches up District OX DNT and sees if there's still interest. Like, well, maybe I'm going to put my uh, money somewhere else where no one else can uh, take some profits from it. Uh, but there's still interest in there. There's still volume coming in. So the reason I'm talking about this coin is it, I'm expecting it to get near that 50 again, you know, between this, uh, the high 20s, you know, you'd say 30 to 50 cents again. And possible safe, it, I hesitate to say safe because nothing in crypto is safe, but a possible safe 10x play. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's going to fall through this lower trend line and, you know, just die like the project did. But it is curious to me how DNT, you know, even when the project looked dead back here, it still ran up. So, We'll, we'll see. It, it wouldn't be my safest, strongest play, uh, but it is something curious to watch. Jasmine. As full disclosure, I have some Jasmine, and I was lucky enough to get some way back here. So obviously very happy with that. And it is above the macro 382 uh, on the weekly. You know, it came back down here, and it bounced off the 20. That's a good thing. That's a very strong-looking chart, even like Bitcoin. You know, not coming down to the 50 MA. Uh, but the 20 on the weekly moving average. By the way, these uh, moving averages, the 50, this light blue one's 100. For any of you guys that don't know, that changes based off the time frame you look at. I know this is redundant for some of you, uh, but for anyone new here, uh, I want to make sure I'm helping educate you guys. If you click the one-year time frame, we are looking at this on a daily scale, and that's why those moving averages now change. And on the daily, you can see, let's stay here, actually. It came down to the 200 daily. That's close to where the 50 week usually is, not always. Um, but it had a nice bounce. And so here you can see it was honoring this FIB. The 382 came down to the 100, got above the 0.5. It, it likes the 100, it seems. So if, if Jasmine ever gets back down to the 100, probably you know decent dollar cost average territory. Uh, but how high could this one go? I, I would be guessing somewhere like a 10x, 30x. We'll see. Um, going back over to the uh, market cap. I know Jasmine's around 50, I believe. 60. So if it did a 10x, you know, we're talking 14 billion. With these lower market cap altcoins, again, it, it, it'd be fun to say, well, this one's going to, you know, all these are going to go to 50 to 100 billion. Even a 10x around 14 billion. You know, these lower ones closer to one to two billion, it, you're looking 10 to 25 billion at most, at best. And again, as we've seen before, crypto typically doesn't stay there. It, the altcoins will retrace oftentimes 90 ish percent. So right now, Jasmine still looking strong, like Jasmine. Uh, next, let's go to HBAR. And this one, there's always so many damn different. H bar things to look at. Hopefully, I pull up the right chart. I did not. Sorry. Where is because I have a fib drawn on on the one. There we go. Um, H bar. 
this has looked like a promising project to me. Again, this FIB drew from the macro prior high to low. Uh, looking weaker than some of the others. And overall, let's actually zoom back here. That's as far as it goes. Uh, overall, it's near this lower trend line. So not looking as strong as some of the other altcoins. Uh, but as far as value goes, I like the project, at least from what I read. Again, that doesn't have to mean jack squat. You know, maybe, maybe this coin is a thing of the past and it's only going to get back to you know, 19, 20 cents. Um, but from what I've read about the research, I do like it as a potential play. Uh, let me know below. Do any of you guys have HBAR? Do you like it, not like it, and, and why? I'm open to, to any and all uh, feedback of what you guys think about these coins. So HBAR, a lot of resistance here. This one, obviously the weakest and worst looking chart out of what we've looked at, uh, but it's got to get above these daily resistances. Weekly, what do we got? Same with the weekly. It's at the 236, man. If it's able to get above this 10, 11 cent area and stay there, that'd be a good thing. You can see last time, you know, it struggled, came back down. So uh, HBAR, you got some work to do, all right? Bonk. Now, in my opinion, just based off narratives going, going on out there, all right, I have to find the right bonk chart. Um, then, then I'll talk to you guys about it. Uh, let's see. I know I have a better one. I know I've charted this one before. I'm like all of a certain. Sorry. There's always so many out there. I'll, I'll give this a, a couple more tries and then uh, and then we'll just get on with it. Um, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll just go to this tether one because um, I have those lines drawn. So in 2021, Doge and Shiba were the, it, from what I remember, two of the most talked about altcoins, Doge and Shiba. This time around, what I've seen kind of replacing the narrative of those two has been Bonk and Pepe. So instead of uh, dogs and, um, instead of dogs, we, we have ducks and frogs. <laughs> And, and again, you know, think, what has happened with Doge since that time, since Elon's been shilling it? Anything good? I mean, has it been accepted as payment for, you know, Twitter, X, um, Teslas, any of that? So, you know, I, I worry about that be, turning into the next XRP, including its community. It, that's... I have a little bit of Doge, but I, I do worry about that happening uh, with Doge and SHIB. And I think Pepe, which isn't available on Coinbase, uh, but Pepe and Bonk might be the two new big plays. You know, even Floki, that's one to talk about. Look at Bonk. I remember when this thing exploded. Some millionaires have already been made off people who were in the Bonk early. I still think it can get up a lot higher. Yeah, look at how high Pepe is. <laughs> already at $5 billion. So Pepe... Kind of feels like the doge this time around bonk kind of feels like the shib and if bonk gets to shib levels look at that ships at 10 billion and bonks at two you know so at least the 5x just something to watch for bonk it's this chart you can see we have some uh convergence going on and maybe when it gets uh, a little bit further along this thing could explode so keep an eye on bonk it as far as utility research it it, there's nothing for me to say that I actually like about it. Um, I would say, I'm going purely based off narrative. 2020, 21, it was Shib and Doge. This time, Bonk and Pepe. Uh, next, it, we got to close out with Optimism and SEI. Two other strong looking projects available on Coinbase. Optimism, it's already gotten uh, above its prior all time highs. You, know, you can see here. Uh, February 23, and then recently topped it in March of this year. Um, and look at this. You know, now we have the price action, the green candles, and uh, on the weekly, still got some work to do. It's got to get back above that 618, the, the two, and get above this downtrend or this channel. And if you want to know how to draw channels, you just go to the trend line area, come down, and then find your points, you know, draw your channel, and then you just drag. And overall, you know, that's pretty sharp channel downward. Don't love that. Um, but if it does start to break above, which I'm hopeful it will, that would be pretty good for optimism. I do like what I've researched about this coin. Um, 
But yeah, we'll, we'll see if this turns into anything. And also, you know, look at that wick down to the 236 in the, do I have this on log? It looks like it's on log. So overall staying above, candle body wise, staying above the 382. I do like that. As far as the daily, you know, what's going to happen here? You can see how we've had all these green days in a row, probably like 10. This is, uh, this is an important moment here for optimism, whether it's going to break out, get above the 618, this channel, or not. Last one, SEI. And I've somehow kept all these coins in this analysis underneath 30 minutes so far. That's a miracle if you're a regular viewer on this channel. <laughs> uh, SEI, well, that's not what I wanted to look at. Actually, it is. I wanted to take this off log scale just at least for a moment. So we mapped out the prior high to low. Okay, it's got this uh, 48 cent level. It's got to get past. Again, not loving this fib completely. Uh, you know what I might do here? I'm going to go from that high because it is higher. We're going to go from this low. How are things looking right now? So, and we can obviously make that a little bit better. There we go. All right, that looks better. Um, it's on log scale. And you can see here, actually, it's showing us a couple of things. So hopefully this is the bottom. You can see here we made a few bottoms and it fell through. Hopefully this is the bottom. That's why you want to be careful and watch what happens. You know, here at the 382, here at these moving averages, the 200, the dark blue, the 100, the light blue, um, this will be important here at around 44 cents. Um, but if it gets rejected and comes back down, especially uh, underneath underneath this 35 cent level, I would not be surprised if this thing doesn't make lower lows. But as far as the project, you know, from what I read, I like SEI. Possible good value here. Um, but if you're willing to be patient, you know, I, I'd wait to see what, what happens here because we've already had so many green days in a row. Um, it, it could break out, you know, if Bitcoin all of a sudden turns very bullish, gets above that 70-ish K level we're talking about, um, or this thing, you know, could come back down to earth. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below, do you like or not like any of these coins we've talked about as far as ones available on Coinbase. And let me know if you agree or disagree on any of these coins as far as my outlook on them, you know, being promising, dead, <laughs> not promising. You know, crypto is a weird world, uh, you know, where anything could happen and you, you'll have dogs and frogs and, and ducks uh, being worth $50 billion for no reason <laughs> when uh, projects with actual utility, you know, they, they come and go and die or live on. But Anywho, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying the content and have a wonderful Monday. Take care.